disassembling the Xiaomi air purifier monster with the terrible Wi-Fi. You should start with the bottom, just pull this uh, bottom cover out and there are like these rubber feet. You can just use a screwdriver or something just to poke them up and then pull them out with your fingers. These parts you just need to use a screwdriver and just poke them out from the inside. So that's fairly easy. And then you come to a part here where you need to have a flat thing. Then you just poke here while you push out. I, I, I try to rip it out also. So push here and try to pull this out then this one part will come out. I did it wrong on the other one, so I broke this one already. So I'm not an expert in this, but I just want to open and destroy this piece of... I saw that on a comment on the video I made last time that the these Xiaomi um, devices with Wi-Fi, they collect the data, uh, user data, and then uh, yeah, you can do a lot of with user data, and then it's not so nice except Wi-Fi is not nice in the first place and then they also use the Wi-Fi to collect data all kinds of data about you big brother data so the only thing I know what I, I what to do next would be to just try to pull it out and at the same time do something like this with the, with the screwdriver yeah and then it snaps out works so actually we should like pull in, push here and snap out. You can see this is this one broke off on the one I took off first, but this is like the part you can just wiggle it out. On the second one I managed to just to rip these out from the from the side and then just wiggle it out, but I broke this one. This this one is dead. This one is not my primary one. I have a 12 volt one, a smaller one that I can adjust the 12 volt uh, voltage on so uh, I don't like these that have automatic so what I'm trying to do is disable the Wi-Fi or maybe not even I don't need to disable the Wi-Fi right away uh, but I maybe I will just do it just to have it done uh, but my idea with this is to connect um, a battery to this so I, I can use it in, um, in, a, in a remote tent or something where I um, where the filter is um, like protected here and I can adjust the voltage as, as as I want so the big question is is if this ventilator if I can run it on DC so the question is if the 220 210 volts are being converted to um, DC or not here is the circuit board 200 plus volts so as you can see here you we are upside down but it goes on 100 to 240 volts AC and it goes into 24 volts direct current 1.9 amps because it's 24 volts DC then I and I have the DC minus DC plus from this board then I can just connect this switch to um, DC current and everything should be fine but my idea was go directly to the ventilator and just power the ventilator instead because I don't want all that fancy stuff but otherwise you can just plug in a 24 volt DC probably here and everything is good to go if you want to keep all the nasty functionality of this horrible device well the device is not super mega horrible because it will purify your air but it just has a lot of functionality that I really really dislike the Wi-Fi scrambler horrible I don't know what they're doing I, I know what like somebody commented and said hey we know what they're doing they're collecting data data and the automatic switching of going up and down all the time that's not something I want I want to go to the purifier and say I want this level and when I go to sleep for example in a tent or similar I want to go to the lowest level possible for the fan to run so it's like the lowest noise ever and I don't want it to go up and down up and down all the time because it wakes me up while I'm sleeping that's not cool man 
So on the last part where the front is, everything here was loose, except it wasn't, wasn't loose around in the middle uh, where the um, fan protection canisters thing is. And it's because there are these, uh, yeah, you can see these that are grabbing into. And I just, what I did was just pull it out, like wiggle it, and then pulling, 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 pulling. Wiggling, wiggling, and then push, everything came out like this. And now we have access to all the fun parts. This is the, the power going into the ventilator, like a switch here that checks if the back, back door is uh, lit, is closed or not. Um, what we could do is measure, we could power it on and then measure on these pins what we, what we get the um, Wi-Fi unit. It has a MAC address. They say you should break pin number two because that's the plus and pin number one is minus. I think I will unscrew this and check out what the labeling is on the other side. Wi-Fi is here and there is no labeling for that. It's only for the pins on the connector. This connector is for the display and so what I am will probably do is that I will connect it to the power of course put the lid on so nobody gets electrocuted and um, and then check out what happens if I measure different pins on this uh, module as it is right now this is ground this is the live with 3.2 volts plus so plus minus so if we just disconnect this soldering with um, this part I don't know if you can how you can break this if you can just unsolder this and it everything will be okay but let's give it a go right now there's a connection from here to here of course and guys the most scary part is that if you don't unplug it the Wi-Fi is still powered so it will still the Wi-Fi will still scramble everything if you keep it plugged into the power outlet. So even if you shut off the machine and it's not running at all, the Wi-Fi is running. Wow. I managed to destroy this pin. I managed to destroy the second pin where the voltage should go in. But then everything, it didn't turn on. It didn't, uh, I, I think the, the little... LED here turned on but um, but the fan didn't start now the fan is running uh, what I did is that I also damaged the the first and first pin so when the first and second pins are damaged with the screwdriver if you have any tips on how to damage pins otherwise please let me know in the comments but otherwise if you damage both the first and second pin then the 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 Wi-Fi stops working, and the unit works as it should with the fan running, without the Wi-Fi scrambler and destroyer. So that's very very nice. So the ultimate thing I would like to do is to be able to control the fan by this um, six-pin interface. And the six pins, we have the 24 volts, we have ground, we have 5 volts, we have the PWM signal, and we have the FG, which I don't know what is, and the BRK, which is the, the brake or something. So I don't know how to emulate this or hack this to be able to control the fan uh, efficiently. Yeah, the ultimate thing would be to have a battery, 12 volt battery, then emulate, push it up to 24 volts and the other voltages that are needed and then to have a, some kind of PWM controller to uh, power the PWM, top PWM pin and I, I don't know what to do with the other f pins. I'm a little bit scared because this is like a very nice brushless uh, fan that I don't want to destroy. So you have any info or hints how to do this or if there are any controllers out there on the market I can just buy and plug plug in the the six pin like imagine if I could just put 
plug this one in in a PWM controller and power it from a battery then I could just destroy all this and I didn't need to have all the noise and the interface I would just control the whole thing through this interface. Let me know in the comments below if you know anything about controlling brushless PWM controlled fans at DC 24 volts. Initially I thought if I destroyed these two then it would die and it did but when you power it on it gets voltage from somewhere else and that might be some of the other pins. I just take the pins down. I destroyed the first pin from this side and it stopped working actually. So maybe and then I just want to make sure it doesn't get any voltage. Just the second pin also. So the first and second pins I tried to destroy. And now my Wi-Fi analyzer says it's completely gone. Now there's a short somewhere. Now it's back on. Okay. So what we have is that I damaged also the the second pin here and the whole machine stopped working and started to do irregular things with the fan. So I needed to resolder the second pin here. So I guess it's a combination of removing the first pin here and removing maybe one, two, three, four pins over here. So I removed what looked like the antenna and that's enough you don't need to, uh, probably if you just remove this one then you don't need to do anything with the pins so what i would do if i were you i would just find this one around here and then just pinch it off with a small screwdriver that's it Very easy i'll now switch it on and cycle through the three modes that it has fan speed and fan regulation. Now it's uh, automatic. Now it's night mode. So the fan speed will be the lowest. And actually it regulates also. Which is annoying. And full power. Annoying sounds.